Hey, I'm Steve Speck with XL Mountain Gear. Today we're here with Jake and we're going to go over how to properly select the hip belt and frame size for your pack order. The hip belt is the most important decision. We want to make sure that we're getting a belt that is big enough that it's wrapping around the front of your hip bones, but also not so big that when we get the pack heavy and we got 80, 100 pounds in there and we're cinching that belt nice and tight that it's not too big, we're running out of adjustment. That's going to be worst case scenario. When, when we get those heavy loads, we really want that belt nice and tight sitting on the hips. So the first thing you do is take your measurement of the hips. If you don't have a soft tape measure laying around, you can grab a piece of rope, measure that, put a little mark on it, lay it out flat on a table, and then take a regular tape measure and measure that. So Jake's going to take his hip measurement. And you can see he's right at 34 inches. So he's going to reference the sizing chart on our website and 34 inches is going to tell him to go to a small. He's right on that cutoff between a small and a medium and we're going to show you that difference of, of what happens when a medium belt maxes out. This pack right here is a medium belt. We're going to have Jake put that on. And all we're doing is looking at the hip belt here. He's going to cinch that good and tight and you can see just how close he is to maxing out the adjustment on that. And that's a really good indicator that we need to go down in belt size. If uh, you know he's one week into a hunt, got just a thin layer on, that's the worst thing to happen is that belt can't get tight enough. So we'll pop that off and then go look at a small belt and see how that fits on him. So now you can see he's got that really good and tight and there's still quite a bit of adjustment range in there for him. And also if we look from the side profile, that the, the belt is wrapping around the front of the hip bones. I don't want that foam terminating right on the crest of your hip bone. I want it wrapping around the front. So if it's stopping short, that's a good indication that you need to get a bigger belt size. Next, we're gonna look at the frame size. Jake knows he's six foot one tall and he wears a 34 inch inseam and pants. That's gonna tell him that a 25 inch frame is most likely when he references the sizing chart on our website. Um, I'm five foot 11 with a 32 inch inseam. We basically have the exact same torso height even though he's two inches taller than me. Your inseam is really a good indicator of where you're at. And then also just kind of knowing where your hip bones are. Some guys have a lower hip bone or a taller hip bone. What we're looking for there is the proper frame height to get load lifter uh, angle, but also not, not be so high that the frame is causing head clearance issues. So this one is a 26 and a half inch frame. You can see that this is really sitting up high on Jake. And while he could hunt with this, he's gonna have more head clearance issues and it's kind of a diminishing returns. Once, once the load lifters are high enough, you really don't need them you know, this high where it's causing these kind of head clearance issues. So we'll take this frame off, we'll put the 25 inch frame so you can see what that looks like on him. So you can see this 25 inch frame is fitting Jake really nicely. That small belt was the right size for him. So again, he took his waist measurement, got the correct belt size, and then knowing his overall height and his inseam and then kind of his hip structure, he can then select the frame size. So those two things for Jake, 25 inch frame, small belt, he's gonna be absolutely dialed there on his K4 fit. If you got any more questions, just reach out to us, support at exomountaingear.com.